Hey everybody, this is A.D. Wheeler of A.D. Wheeler Photography and I thought I'd make a quick video today to show everyone how to purchase prints off my website. Uh, I get a lot of folks who come out to my art shows and things and, and only get to see a limited number of prints at those events uh, and they always want to know how they can buy prints from me when I'm not at an art show and this is the way to do it right off the website super easy super high quality prints uh, they're all provided by Bay Photo and they are fantastic um, so I'm just gonna go a quick run through on how you can purchase a print from the website so let's take a look here um, the first way that you can do it is if you're interested in reading one of my stories um, on the website you just click on the story that you want to read and when the story pops up you will see just below each photo is a link, a purchase a print link. And if you click on that, it will take you right to my Smug Mug site and you can purchase your print from there. The other way, of course, is to go to my galleries directly. A lot of us don't have time to read, so I totally get that. You just want to look at the pictures and buy something. Um, you go to any of the galleries and that will take you right to Smug Mug and my gallery provider and you just click on the gallery that you're interested in. Now at this point you can literally buy any of these photos all at once by clicking the buy button and going through and and grabbing uh, whichever ones you want or you can select by photo. So let's just um, take a look at one of these shots here. We click on the shot it makes it large and you'll see down in the right hand corner a buy button. You just click on this green buy button and then this photo, and there you go. It comes up with every option available for purchase. All of the paper styles, the luster, matte, glossy, metallic, and watercolor. And also all of the different material formats. So you can get these photos on canvas, thin wrap, which is a canvas around a very thin masonite board. They look very cool. I've done quite a few of these for folks. Uh, very modern looking, cast a nice shadow on the wall, and then of course metal, which is what I specialize in at my festivals. So let's just uh, do standard size for this. So you click on standard size and it comes up with all these different sizes. And some of these sizes will have to be cropped. Cropping is going to cut off edges of the photo. Um, it, it by no means will destroy the photo, but some, some photos are panoramas, they need to be large. So, you, uh, you know, in that case you would pick panorama sizes, and then there's, you know, super panoramic sizes that will come up and whatnot. So this is just standard size. Now, this particular photo is uh, in a 4x6 format, so 8x12 will fit this photo perfectly. So you can see that there's no cropping being done here. If I was to choose an 8x10, the edges of the photo would have to be cut off. Okay, so uh, 8x10s will fit in most frames, but today uh, a lot of framing places are doing 8x12s as well because uh, they know that the different formats are out there and a lot of people like a wider, more panoramic landscape uh, format. So let's just do the format that works here. So an eight, pick 8x12 and we're gonna do this in luster and all you need to do is just change this to a 1 by using the little arrow and that adds this photo to your cart. Now if you wanted to go and shop for something else you can hit the back button and close that out and you could find another print that you like say this print here and we can buy that print this photo now this one is in an 8x10 so uh, to buy it non-cropped, we would have to buy it in the 8x10 size, but let's do an 8x12. We're going to crop the photo, that's fine, and change that to 1, and now it's updated. So we're all set here, we got our two photos that we want, it, and um, actually there's a third photo in here. <laughs> we'll delete that out, that was from an earlier session that uh, I was showing, so we'll get rid of that. That's how you delete things out of your cart, so now you know that. So here we see that this photo is being cropped. Now we can adjust that, or we can just go with the default crop. Now the default crop just centers on the photo and you're good to go. Um, this is kind of the easiest way to go because it's going to retain my original eyeline and composition. But if you wanted to change it, you can adjust it. 
by hitting the adjust button and then moving this crop wherever you want. So that's all there is to it. So if we like, uh, if we like to see all those bobbins up at the top in this shot, we could crop it right there and save it. And now that'll move that crop up and you're all set to go. So uh, your other options that you have here also are to add frames and mats, which are very cool. So there's all sets of options in there that you can add. And then once you're done, it's just hit the checkout button. You can use Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and that. And now we also offer PayPal. And you can use a Buy It Now account or anything like that with PayPal. And that stuff will be shipped directly out to you. If you have any questions, always feel free to hit the contact button on my webpage and get a hold of me. And I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks a lot, folks. Have a great day.